it's the, 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 the directors of public health who all seem to sing out of the same hymn book the same wet hymn book yeah and they are actually talking lots of time all the time to ohid and um the people in ohid are the establishment and because of the local i should say the national um verdict from the united states of america where um it's been shown that fluoride causes um a reduction in intelligence of children of, of the unborn child and the infant in particular because of that and because that news has traveled across the pond and um, the um the pro fluoridationists are panicking now they're trying to get more places fluoridated um before the news breaks a big big time and it's not breaking big time because bbc has been told don't say anything about it well when you consider the bbc were given something like 60 million pounds by mr gates we know what the bbc are don't we they're just that's bad news isn't it mm. anyway. So they're supposed to be not biased, but they most certainly are. And this, is, and this is the thing that annoys me, you know, I was talking to my stepmom. I said, yeah, you you disagree with me based on what you're being told by the biggest propaganda machine in history. Yeah. I said, they spew they out, do. not only do they spew out lies, you pay for it. You pay to be lied to. And you're happy, I don't it's, think so. You know, <laughs> ig ignorance can only get you so far. Yeah, I think people just get closed down. They they just do not admit there's anything good, bad going on and just live their lives privately without worrying about anything. And do you think? Do you think that's fun. because people are those people? They know that if they accept that, then they also have to accept that their entire life has been based on lies, and they're just not ready to admit that. Yeah, they think it'll destroy them if they have to admit such harm is being done to them. I, I often say, you know, if religion is dying, so who do you believe in uh, uh, these days? When you go to your doctor, you believe what the doctor says, so you believe in that doctor. But if the doctor's telling you lies about uh, treatments, that's really bad news. And it would be mm. so destroying. Yeah. And you have no other authoritative figure to look up to. That's right. No, absolutely. And I quite often get the, oh, are you, you know, there's no papers been written on this. There's no so it's always about the academic side, isn't it? They're always saying, "Oh, when, unless it's said by so and so, or it's written in such and such paper, I'm ignoring it. I'm ignoring it." But That's we know that they, they're um, all com they're all compromised. Yeah, our our uh, journal's called Fluoride. Um, it has a huge number of um, research studies in it, which are not published in the mainline journals. They've been, it's been uh, ignored, and that's why fluoride started off, because all these people who were researching couldn't get their work published. So we had to provide them with a proper journal which um, publicized their work. But, you know, um, people who, mainline researchers don't look at fluoride because it's not, it doesn't come up in the, res in the searches mm. for um, similar type of research studies. What's the name of your website again? Fluoride Free Alliance UK, but that is not the that is not the actual abbreviation, not the URL, because we changed our name about three years ago. Right, okay. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. I've learned quite a few things. Things that I thought I knew, but clearly I didn't. So very much indebted to you for that. Wow. Yeah. That's terrible. Please do send me any links that you want me to add or anything in a, an email and then I'll put it all up in post. But for now, thank you so much for your time. I hope everyone who's been watching this has enjoyed it and learned from it. I know I have. And until next time, take care. Bye for now.